What do folks look back to yet another Discord cooking show or Kelly's cooking club, whatever you want to call it. Some people even say KKK, and that's not funny. I know this is starting to be weird. <laughs> It's been a while though, but it's finally time to get this cooking show started, bro. This episode was really nice. I had my boy Kai on this. And it's also nice because it's quite different from what we saw last time on the cooking show. And if you guys haven't seen the previous episode, go ahead and check that out, alright? But, I had to leave one message before we actually get straight into the video. My boy Light wanted y'all to uh, know something, okay? Apparently as to why, you should subscribe to Kelvy. Let's see what the reason is, guys. If you don't sub the oh. if you don't sub to Kelly, the whole world will explode. Trust me, I know this. <laughs> you heard him, hey, you heard him. What the fuck? Time to actually cook. I think the last time we did this was like an actual month ago by now. The clean ass kitchen, damn. <laughs> I had to clean, you know, for some presentation. True. Like we usually do before yeah. we start. I'm gonna ask you, what are you making for us today, bro? So today I'm going to make some basic oven pasta with only cheese and some basic ingredients like seasoning and stuff. So like a nice pasta bake, that sounds nice, man. You usually eat pasta or just like uh, something you do like every now and then? Maybe once a week. Oh, okay, so it's like a nice um, cheat meal, I guess. Because I remember like, <laughs> I remember way back when you made it and you said like, everything got eaten up by like your sister or something. What? Oh yeah, that yeah. part. <laughs> Do you like know the cooking time on this too, or is this like something you can make pretty quickly? There's some time. It requires some time, like maybe half an hour. Okay, that's not too bad. It's like a huge portion, so with half an hour in that bad. We're gonna start with this. It's a small one because it's just a meal for me. I don't have anyone at home. You got the whole kitchen for yourself then, eh? We we'll also do one of my favorite pastas. It's like tortellinis. Yeah, they're like stuffed with uh, stuff, right? Hey, you got you got a little audience here, Kai. Shiver and Light is watching right now. Including shout out me. to them. Hey, shout out, shout out to them though, the homies, the homies. We're gonna need some sweet pepper and some nuts. Yeah, nuts. We are also gonna need, like, this is one of the most important ingredients. We're also gonna need this, which is just cream. Ah, uh, yeah, for the pasta. But normally I just put it all with the, uh, put it all in one. Just do like the pasta, then this, then the other stuff. Oh, okay. You don't really do layers then? Well, there's layers at the end. There's like a cheese layer, so it, the pasta is down at the bottom, and there's a cheese layer right right here. Oh, okay, yeah. So it looks good. Hey, bro, I've seen it before, bro. It makes me hella hungry. I, I ain't gonna lie. So the first step is we're gonna turn on the oven on 180. Well, 180 is for because for a slow cooking, so it all gets better together, it, it all blends, and just feels more creamy rather than stiff. Yeah, like not too um, like dry and like solid. Yeah, not too dry. Yeah. Yeah, because when whenever I try to do like max, which is like 250, 250 degrees, it's it gets dry normally. We're also gonna need one of these cubes. You know. Oh, I know what that is. Ah, uh, bro, I don't know the English word for. I know the Swedish word for it though. Basically, like chicken stock in like a cube. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. This is for more flavor, but if you didn't have these ones and if you really wanted to, uh, you could really use salt. They're quite salty, if I recall. Yeah, they're very salty. Yeah. But it just adds another type of more intricate taste. But it looks like there's like not not uh, like not a lot of ingredients, which is. You know, quite nice. That's mostly all of our ingredients and this huge water bottle. And some of some water. And this is basically it. These are all ingredients. We got pasta, mm -hmm. which is the main course. We got uh, cooking cream. Okay. We got uh, nuts, what? smashed nuts. Uh, we got uh, sweet pepper mm -hmm. and some water. Some water. We also need. We also need cheese. We can't forget the cheese, bro. Hey. We can't forget the cheese. Hey, the, the mozzarella, mozzarella. 
That's the good stuff. Hey, I also like cheddar though. Like I'm not against cheddar, I'm not gonna lie. I love cheese. I, I love cheese too, bro. Especially like when you put on stuff like burgers and oh, like cheesy pizzas. Oh my God. Some tasty stuff. Bro. So we have here the pasta. No, we're gonna just unstuck it a bit. Damn, the pizza are actually big too, which is nice. Pause actually, yeah, probably yeah. no. Nah, no. <laughs> hey, Momo's in here too, bro. You got a big ass audience, Kai. Feel honored. Stand proud. Shout out, shout out to all of my all of my subs. Yeah, shout out, shout out to subs. Uh, can we get like five million donations right now, please? So what actually got you into cooking, bro? Because I have a lore with cooking, but your might be uh, your your uh, store might be different, you know. There wasn't really much. It just, you know, my mother, my mother, and my father. Sometimes, like when I moved here, to this country, my mother and my father were couldn't be always at home. So it was just me and my little sister. We always ate like frozen pizza and frozen nuggets and stuff. Yeah and sometimes it got really boring and we decided to maybe step up and just do better breakfast like we started with toast eggs you know yeah the, the simple basic, stuff bacon. yeah yeah then we got then we started going up like past uh like things like i'm not gonna lie your your backstory hella similar to mine bro like my mother always used to work like late night shifts and usually my sister was like kind of like babysitting me but like she went out anyway so i had to like learn my way up the ladder to like how to cook shit you know with the toast the bacon like i failed so many times though like <laughs> but yeah it's it was like most of the time it was trial and error you know we sometimes tried to make some well this was like after quarantine like 2021 type shit oh it wasn't even like long ago then damn no, no, it wasn't very long ago, it was... I also... Well... Let me explain. We're gonna do this... We're gonna put the cream all over this. Okay. The... Pause. We're gonna do... <laughs> we're gonna put the cream oh all over the... <laughs> the white ass, the thick ass... Cr Damn, that's just black. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So do you just like put the season on top of the cheese then, or how do you do with that? Nah, nah, nah. I put it normally, so when I finish putting the cream, and we just throw it in the oven. Do you usually have like any sides to this? I don't know, maybe like a salad or like uh, some extra protein? Well, sometimes, sometimes I get salad and sometimes I might get meat if it's a, uh, well, meat like chopped meat or maybe fried. Oh, okay. We, if it's like a very small portion, I normally do that. So only like a little bit water then like not too much. So it doesn't get like not, too soggy. Not too much, not yeah, too much. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. I think I'm gonna do two, bro. Yeah, go on, bro. We need a heavy cream. Bro, what Pause. Are you about, <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, it did not need to splash like that before though. Like I can't <laughs> I I like, I can't <laughs> Nah let, let me you chill let me chill. Let me chill. Hey, let me chill, let me chill low. So, we're gonna use the sweet pepper. Yes. I mean, I once tried to like, not put, fuck. Yeah. I once tried to not put, one thing to note is do not put too much nuts. You know, that shit can be toxic. Yeah, like, like it's, really. it's gonna like fuck up the flavor, you mean like actually toxic? No, 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 toxic, toxic. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? That shit can put you in the hospital, that shit can put you in the hospital. If you put way too much, like... Good thing I have high, um, nut intolerance. Like, that alone just sounds so weird, bro, what the fuck? My mother told me, like, hey, don't put too much nuts on it, because it can be toxic and you can be sent to the hospital. Damn! And I just don't, didn't put too much. I was scared at first, you know? Yeah. Maybe because, wait, hold on, if I put too much, or if I put this much, or isn't this too much, or isn't this too little? But it looks like you found like a good middle ground for it, so that's good. If there was a seasoning, let's say I'd be missing for this meal, but I could only get one. What would be the most crucial one to get? Like the nut one or like the other like powder, pepper one? Both are pretty, are pretty good tasting, you know? Both are pretty essential for the meal. Yeah. But normally you could, you could go without the nuts, like too much or without any at all. For me, the sweet pepper is like, the most important seasoning of this. Y'all, wait, y'all in BC right now, y'all should be taking notes, by the way. This man has a clean kitchen, mm. wash his hands, mm. 
and now he's about to put this shit in the oven, right? We're gonna put it in the oven now, uh, 180. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, like, it looks pretty good. Like, I haven't eaten, I don't really eat pasta like that because I'm on, like, a specific diet, but, like, I could definitely see myself making this, like, adding some protein to it, too. But you could also just spice up your thing, you know, with yeah. beef. And you could also put salad over it. Like, you know, you could also just start cooking right here. Use ground beef or something. And when the first layer comes out, you can put it all over it. And well, as long as you have cooked it, you can put it over it and you can throw it in the oven again. The fat from the ground beef would like enter the pasta too, which would even yeah. give it more flavor. Like that's, that's like some like crazy strata actually. Can you put a 15 minute timer? Yo, no problem, bro. I got you. I know we're in Sweden. We have like a class in primary school where you actually get to cook. But do you guys have that like where you live or? Like I lived in like two countries. I've done primary school in two countries and I really haven't done any cooking before my house or or anything like that. I think there was one one assignment. There was a subject, I think, Yeah. on the paper that it was like home economics or something like that and it was food. There was a uh, home economics and we went to the kitchen and learned from the, the people that had cooked there. And it was just a whole class. When I was in my older country, I didn't have much of an interest for cooking, you know? And it just didn't seem any anything special for me. I mean, it also seems that you kind of like had to actually like, in a way, force yourself to learn how to cook because parents were working all this and you actually end up liking it too. But it's like a fucking canon event if you look at it in like a in, a in a different way, you know? Have you ever like failed miserably in the kitchen before? Yes, of course. You know, one time when this was my like second time cooking. <clears throat> yeah. Like first time, first time it went well, you know, I did some eggs and bacon. But the second time though, I got too confident, you know? Oh. I got too confident <laughs> and started like putting more heat. Uh, more heat and leaving it more yeah. like you know i didn't like a i was a professional chef and it and that shit got overcooked damn done for i ended up like, burning everything the bread got burned uh, did, did you do that for like a breakfast or was this for like another meal no it was a breakfast for my for me and my sister you know uh, it was like my second time cooking i never really cooked that much i didn't even eat breakfast, like, most of the time here. But now you're doing it at least, which is good, you know? No, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. You it's still like, haven't? I haven't. Bro, when did you even wake up, bro? A few moments later. Wait, the timer just went off, by the way. We take it out now. There we go. So, now we just tear it up. Can tear we it get up a again. look of it too? Like, it looks the same. But it's really just more, it's creamy, it's creamy now. Yeah, like now it's more cooked. Yeah. Uh, this is making me hungry, bro. I'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm devour a whole feast after this, bro. Oh, sometimes, I sometimes see your food, you know. I sometimes think it's good, but you know, sometimes you make like bad food type of <laughs> Okay, like, dude. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. My father's a fisher. Well, not a fisher, like he fishes for, for a hobby. Oh. I do too. That's actually kind of yeah. chill though, you know? Yeah, he sometimes takes me to to his trips and it's very nice. It's, it's chill. I even caught an octopus. Did y'all eat or y'all like throw back in the water or see? My father already caught one before. So we threw that one in the bag and mine, we, I think we released it. I, I have such a fuck story. Like I, I had like fished once in my life. And it was one, uh, me and my class went on like a, like a camp or whatever. I think that, no, yeah. a trip, a trip, that's the right word. This is back in like maybe seventh grade. And it's only like few people from our class that went on this trip and went to like a cabin. They had like a fishing rod. We're like, yo, let's go try and fish and all. And remember we caught a fish and we were like, yo, that's actually so sick. You know, like never caught one before. And we just looked at it and... I remember we had like this axe and my, my, my classmate first like started digging in the axe to the fish What? and I was just like looking at it like started bleeding like like crazy 
and i think i tried it too and i remember i i felt so fucking bad bro like i, I felt like i actually killed someone i realized like bro this, this shit is way too deep bro like fuck yeah oh wait the timer went off shit it's time for the cheese now yep and before you drop everything r.i.p i like <laughs> there was, the fuck out of that shit there was one time i really fucked it up like it did a full 360 it just slipped out of my hand oh and it fell on the ground no nah, it didn't fell on the ground it fell in the oven <gasps> Oh no, that's even worse. I tried to save it all, but I couldn't. That shit was... There was burnt things all over it. So do you think shutter cheese works well on this too, or mozzarella is better? Anything works. Like, I heavily, heavily prefer, like, this type of cheese. Well, I mean, I like to... I like to do with a lot of cheese. A shit ton of cheese. Yeah, you're a cheesy ass dude. But is it like the same amount of time in the oven as well or is it like shorter now no it's i think it's 15 minutes but i'm gonna i'm gonna do it fast it's not normally 15 minutes it's like maybe not 30 but a good amount you know maybe 25 or something but oh i it, see but with the oven turned off so it gets better gratinated oh so you actually turn it off put it in and let it stay for like 25 yeah. minutes yeah, but what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna lower the heat. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, and this is the final product, you know. Mm, that creamy ass bake, bro. Like, damn. Bro, I'm definitely making food after this. I'm hungry as fuck. Cheese bowl. Well, what's it? Something like that. Yeah. Whew. All of this is for myself. Yeah, I would. I would keep that shit. I would get keep that shit too. Thank you so much for this fucking cooking session, bro. This meal actually looks wonderful and scrumptious, and I hope you have a good ass meal, bro. You too, man. Hey, Peace. have a good day. Let's see you, man. Man, that shit was looking scrumptious, bro. Hey, Kai. Like I said, I might, I might need to try that shit soon. But if you made this far into video and want to level up your support, make sure to become a member today by clicking the link in the description below or the join button next to my name. Shout out to my members over on YouTube, which is my boy Savage, Shady, Zoro, my boy Rumps, Momo, and Typical Gentleman. Y'all make my life easier. And I appreciate it dearly. If you want to improve your video editing or edit in a similar way like me, make sure to check out my video editing course in the description below where I go in depth on how to edit in different ways and how to get consistent and get good results. Head over to my Discord as well. Hey, you know, this should be always by now. If you join, you're able to cook like this yourself. If you want to follow me on my socials and whatnot, head over to my link tree where I got my Twitter, Instagram, and all that good stuff. But without further ado, Y'all better stay hydrated, okay? And I need to make food. I'm so fucking hungry. Like, that shit made me so hungry.